they have much yeah. patch for the storm either, though. They like normally have that much crazy yeah, lockdown. They, they've it's, got it's, no it's lockdown. Very, very different ideas like yeah. two teams right now. One is looking to split. Oh, oh, vision game right there. Yep, and wait time. So the the, the, the night time they get double house. So basically, you're gonna make it night as often as possible, and that's where this night soaker comes into play. A little bit of an engagement going on. They do manage to pop the shrine though, and that's gonna mean that wings get turned upon. Can they find the skill? Very low, they do manage to pick it up, and that's gonna be why going down. Mind control picked it. Stage. Yeah. No, absolutely. So we'll see how Liquid can use some of these ultimates. Mind control gonna be getting going on here. And with the level one gush, he's not really able to do a whole lot. Wow. This potent trialing down here, the poison touch, also physical damage, so, and the crash. I mean, it's, it's physical all over, so they're looking to take advantage of that. And there's some very clear synergy with this wing's trialer. Yeah. Ooh, the pullback. GH wants to go on him. Ice Ice in trouble, not able to hit the crush, and a great well played game. Looks pretty good. The 1v1 up top should be going well for the lone druid, as the CS indicates. Although Night Soul also getting some good CS with the poor man kill. Oh, and again, bottom mind control just ends up going okay. down. Yeah, that Space Beyond picks up an early TP to try and rotate at this night, but that would leave this top lane vacant, which is not something you want to do against a lone druid of all heroes. He will punish and take the tower, but here comes the TP mid. Oh yeah, trying to turn back around the sun strike. It's not going to be enough though. Miracle just going to go down. Too much damage with the heal bomb coming in from Y and everything else, man. Storm. Yeah, and they decide to go for at least a moment, but nice. gonna be able to find the Phoenix again. Kuroki trying to dive out in a way is gonna be able to make his escape. Now the Sunstrike with the Entangle, they are gonna be able to find that kill. They take the Baron exchange, but hurts losing your Slardar right there. Going for it now, chasing down. They're gonna pop the Darkness on top of him. A heck of a lot of damage, but they aren't going to be able to run him down as of yet. The chase is gonna continue here. He's already solved up though. Good play by Matsu there. Fantastic. My control comes into it. He's going to pop the shrine. There's still a lot of damage, but he can't quite bring him down. So a tumble man able to dodge the gank. Shadow. Old snap down. Ah, Shadow may be in some trouble. The right click still coming through. Tornado, not enough range. And oh, he actually hides out in the corner and is going to be brought down. A very odd engagement now. Slardar can't go for the crush. That's going to be the blink storm spear chasing him down as well. Looks for mind control and should be able to run him down. So. A kind of awkward movement by Shadow far away. Oh, top lane, they're on top of Y. They pop the Ravage, but Gray's already been used. He should be at least able to walk away for the moment. Yeah, I get the kill though with GH, and it looks like with that Shadow, is just gonna run out of here. Right here, he's getting swarmed upon. He's gonna need a really good Savage Roar. Oh, uh, there's the jump in immediately, pulling him back in. The long range pull, they are gonna be able to connect. Sunstrike, maybe gonna find a kill. Good Grave, and that's going to, at least for the moment, keep Faith Beyond alive. Sunstrike coming in. Liquid's communication coordination has really been on point. Anytime an entangled table has been disabled, Sunstrikes uh, have fallen Ravage, out. turn the air bullet, take down Ice Ice. This is going to be Shadow running away. Very, very scary five-man push coming from Wings. Oh, poor GH. He's just going to be caught here for a second. Doesn't get this. Oh, wow. All right, Crush is on the mark, though, and Ice Ice able to find it. Mental deny. Oh, nice to crush though. Yeah, they're on top of him now. Tornado's gonna come out, but the remnant is gonna be enough damage possibly. Yeah, Matumba Man's gonna fall. Well Still played by Blink, and maybe gonna be able to find more. They're trying to chase here. It looks like they're going to back out. They're in having Ravage, all of these big team fights. Now he jumps in, uh, Silas for the moment. They're avoiding him for the moment as well. He doesn't manage to get it off. Finally, he can maybe go for it. He does hit the Ravage, connects on the four. Not sure if it's going to be enough, though, as they are going to be able to jump in. A good tornado, Evo combo, Deputy Blast, Miracle. Tries to make it happen with the Grave and the Supernova. The counterplay now, but Ice Ice is going to be there. They managed to get another big stun off. That H is already down now. Ice Ice also starting to drop low. All of the big team fight ultimates have been used, and now it looks like they're going to try and take a little bit in return. They take down Matumba Man, and that's going to have to be it, at least for now. Sunstrike. Sunstrike. Another kill. Miracle sign to come online. Scare. Uh, perhaps longer game, and Phoenix being a key high ground defender. And that's one of those moments where you would you would want things. Oh god, they they pulled him back in again. Slardar stuck up on the high ground, gonna be crushed, and we'll see if he's gonna get out of there. Looks to be in a hell of a lot of trouble trying to TP. No such luck. They find the kill. Where liquid shine. Yeah, and we could end up seeing Faith Beyond just walk into a whole mess of hurt if he does head over there. Kuroki is gonna be the first one. They go for the initiation, the blink, rabbit. No, the stun came out. All right, so mind control controls for the moment as well. They're silencing up for the moment as well. The Rubik, he's forced to back out in a way. Nobody dead as of yet, although several members of Liquid are very low and 
Kuroki getting right click, forced to pop the supernova. They're able to jump in. They find a kill on a GH. There's the Ravage counterplay though. Oh is it going to be enough? Oh They're able to find it so much damage. Miracle goes in as well, dominating for him. Oh lordy. That oh. Ravage wasn't going to be enough to save that egg. That egg was still going oh, down. Oh, the sun Miracle. strike. Miracle, the magic man Ooh. does it again. This game was going just fine for them up until this point. One and team fight. You, you think about how good Wings were looking in that last series, and Lick would just have all the answers in the world. He's going to go out there and crush Kuroki. Oh, maybe going to be able to find some more. They get the pull as he passes through, and oh, Kuro is going to die there. Maybe going to be able to find a bit more, but... Small consolation him. prize. But though, you've got this tricore that's so incredibly strong, and uh, the right clicks coming in from a tumble man, all of the damage that you've got from the invoker as well. The sound is going to be there, as well as the mischance. The defending without their ult. Oh, good lift. They're not going to find the crush there from the slaughter. Have to back out again. Another savage draw. Scary moment right now. Grave as well. Keeping Faithion alive. Trying to make him sure that he's able to escape. And no Ravage for 40 more seconds. But still, Liquid able to take this one. There's the egg. It forces the rest of them back. Wings, you need to get out of here. Not a safe place in the least bit. They lose two more with only one of those ultis there. And do it. And it looks like the call is... Maybe find a pickoff first. Yeah. Storm not the easiest. They get the lift oh, though, God. and that will make it easy. Plate mail, he's got an absurd amount of armor. All right, they're going for it. Now or nothing, do or die. They're just like, let's back off the e shift. Oh my God, this is so depressing. They're going to be able to force staff it back in a way. Storm Spirit, well, actually, no, that's not Storm Spirit. That's GH because he stole the ulti and now trying to turn this back around onto them is oh oh here comes a blink ravage potentially oh no, god blink fear is still on for a little bit longer at least it's like watching a, a plane crash I, it's, I you know what's gonna happen uh it really really hurts and weave now down on top of them maybe this is the way back into it they jump in on my tumble man he's going to just keep hitting away at these racks it's megas <laughs> i don't know what you do against megas you call yeah, gg that's gg don't play there's not even a battle yeah it's it's like, it, it feels weird and anticlimactic to end it without trying to fight, but how do you fight? There's no way to fight in Ravage. They win the game without using Able Ravage. That's just how strong Liquid's 5-man was in the end, and how powerful they are with an Aegis and Cheese in their hands. Well, really, really impressive.